So I really fell in love with this yarn when I found it. It's a velvety soft yarn and I originally made a baby blanket with it. This is the baby blanket which is going to have a separate video tutorial so you can look for the separate video tutorial for this one. And I'm calling this one my Staggering Beauty baby blanket but in the center I used a lighter color of this yarn and I liked it so much that I got another one. So this yarn is called Bernat Velvet by Yarnspirations and it comes with 300 grams or 315 yards. It's a bulky 5 yarn. The recommended hook is 6.5 millimeters but I'm going to use a 6 millimeter which works well. The color of this one is softened blue and then for the border I used a darker blue yarn and you'll have a lot of this yarn left over which is why I made this cute little dog that I'm calling Spot. And I'm going to make another one of these dogs using Bernat Velvet. This color, this one has a free pattern too, this looks really beautiful. So this is just a ripple pattern. And you can see how pretty it is with the purple and the um, softened blue color. This color is gray orchid, even though it looks like a beautiful purple. So I'm not sure why they said gray. I guess because in the shimmer it looks grayish. And let's see. So basically that's this color. So I know I can make another baby blanket and I'll have plenty left over because I'm going to use this color for the border. So I'm going to go ahead and show on video tutorial how to make spot in this beautiful purple color for beginners. So even after making a baby blanket and spot, I still have a lot of this yarn left over. So for this crochet project, you're going to need your 6 millimeter crochet hook. And you're also going to need a tapestry needle or darning needle. And I usually get one that has a large eye on it so the yarn can fit through. And then I like the one with the more pointy end. And you'll also need a pair of scissors. I also recommend getting a safety doll nose. For the original spot, I used a 21 millimeter nose. And then this one I'm going to use is a 23 millimeter. So any size 21 to 23 millimeter for the safety doll nose. For the safety doll eye, I'm using a purple. It's a glittery purple safety doll eye. It's really pretty and the size of it is 21 millimeters. For spot, I used a confetti. So you can see the little pinks and the blues in the eye. It's really cute. So for this one, I'm going to use a purple, glittery purple safety doll eye. And again, this is a 21 millimeter. Now for safety doll eyes, I like to use the metal or plastic backing. I haven't tried the rubber ones, but I have a feeling that the rubber ones would be too easy to remove and the plastic or metal are really, once you put them on, they're really hard or difficult to take off. So I just feel safer with the metal or the plastic ones. So for safety doll eyes, I usually like to go to Joann's craft store or Hobby Lobby. Now they don't usually go up, they don't have these fun types of eyes and usually they don't have them up to 21 millimeters. So if you want these style of eyes, um, I usually like to go to glasseyesonline.com or 6060eyes. I really like 6060eyes.com too. So you can find all kinds of neat safety doll eyes on their sites online. So for the yarn choices, again I used Bernat Velvet and the color on this one is Gray Orchid. And then also, you're going to need a skein of softened blue. So you only need one skein of each of these. And with your leftover, you'll be able to make this cute little dog. So if you're making this cute dog, if you have yarn left over, you'll be able to use it to make a baby blanket. And again, I have a separate video tutorial. It's called the Staggering Beauty Baby Blanket.
Now you're also going to need a beige colored yarn. So you don't have to buy the Crafter's Secret Big Idea. Any medium four style 100% acryl acrylic yarn will work for this project. And it's going to be for the snout. So you can use a smaller one if you want to. I'm always using this color. So I'm using some of my leftover that I have. So that's why I go ahead and just buy the Big Idea Crafter's Secret. And I get this one from Hobby Lobby. And I would recommend using your coupon if you go in to get one of these. The color on this one is Magnolia Way. And again, it's 100% acrylic. The color on this one, oh, I just said it, Magnolia Way. It's actually a really pretty beige color. And you're also going to need a black colored yarn. I'm just using some of my sapphire blue because it's dark, but um, and I using I love this yarn. It's just some of my leftover yarn, but I would recommend a black. You can use any medium for 100% acrylic yarn. This one also has a free pattern included of this gorgeous afghan on it, which has roses, so I might check that one out. And this one is a navy color, and again it's 100% acrylic and it's just a medium for style of yarn. For some people that are gifting these adorable dogs with their baby blankets or as baby gifts, they don't feel comfortable with the safety doll eyes. So I'm going to show you how to make your own dog eyes if you want to not use the safety doll eyes and use crochet or yarn to make your own dog eyes. I'm also going to show you how to make your own nose too if you don't want to use a safety nose either because even though the safety latches work really well for the nose and the eyes there's still the risk of choking hazards so because of that some people just prefer to stay safe and just use a yarn made nose and yarn made eyes so if you like the eyes that I made for my dog the yarn that I used is Karen Simply Soft and the color is Blue Mint. Here's some information about this yarn. It's 100% acrylic. You can use the same black yarn that you used for the face of your dog. I'm still using the same I Love This Yarn. It's a navy color, dark, really dark, pretty blue. And I'm using my Crafter's Secret Big Idea, the same yarn that I used for the Snout Magnolia Way color. Now if you want to use a white color, you can do that too, but I decided just to use the same yarn. Now for the eyes, I used a smaller crochet hook. So you're going to use a different crochet hook for the eyes only. And I used a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook for the eyes. So we're going to start with the head and you're going to start with your gray orchid colored yarn and you're going to take it and just drape it across your four fingers. We're going to start with the magic circle. And then you just take your thumb to kind of hold the yarn in place while you wrap the yarn around your two middle fingers. And then hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. Then you're going to take your crochet hook, and again I'm using my 6 millimeter crochet hook. You're going to go under those two loops around your middle fingers, and you're going to bring up a loop. Then you're going to yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through the loop for a slip knot. Now we're going to place 6 single crochet into the magic circle. So you just go under those two loops again. You're going to bring up another loop. This time you have two loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through both loops for a single crochet. And then you're going to make five more because you want a total of six single crochet into the center of the magic circle. So this is my third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Now you're just going to take the bottom of the six single crochet, hold it with your your forefinger and your thumb, and you have your crochet hook resting in your hand. You have these two loops on the opposite side. You're going to pull on one of them 
If it doesn't close, let go and then pull on the other one. One of them is going to close. Let me try this one again. Huh. This one's a little... Try it again. There it goes. For some reason it gave me a little trouble. Usually it doesn't give me that kind of trouble. So then, once you've closed it, just let go and then take that loose yarn end and then you're going to pull on that just gently. Don't worry if you don't get it closed completely because we're going to close it more later. And then you're just going to turn your work and then we're going to work into the first stitch in the round. So take your crochet hook, go under that first stitch and you want to grab both loops so it's a little bit seeing the fuzzy might be difficult at first getting under there but you can see how you get under that first stitch then you just bring up a loop you have two loops on the hook yarn over turn the hook upside down and go through both for a single crochet then you're going to go into the same stitch again and then bring up a loop and then you have two single crochet in the same stitch and then you're going to go into the next stitch over and you want both loops of the next stitch and you're going to make two single crochet into that stitch too. So you're going to make two single crochet in every stitch around until you have a total of 12 stitches in the round. So that's six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So now, if you need to, you can close the center of the magic circle. So you just go and gently pull on the back and then that closes the center of the magic circle. So at this point, if you're having difficulty seeing the stitches and you're really new to crochet and you just don't feel comfortable with this yarn, then you can practice with your medium four acrylic yarn. That way you can see the stitches better and then come back to this one and then you'll be able to see the stitches a little bit better. So I'm just going to point it out with my tapestry needle. So here is your first stitch in the round. So you can see I have my tapestry needle under the first stitch. Here's the front loop of the stitch and then here is the back loop of the stitch. So you should have 12 of those stitches all the way around after making two, sing two single crochet into each stitch. So now we're going to make increase rounds. So we're going to be increasing all the way to one single crochet into five stitches and then two single crochet into the sixth stitch. And what I mean by increase is we're going to be increasing the number of stitches in the round. So go ahead and get your yarn marker and I like to use just one of my scraps of yarn and just place it right where you left off and that will help you keep track of when you finished the round. So now for our first increase round we're going to make one single crochet into the first stitch and then two single crochet into the second stitch. And then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to your yarn marker. So you're going to make one single crochet into the first stitch and then two single crochet into the second stitch. And then keep repeating that all the way around back to the yarn marker. So now you should be right back up to where the yarn marker is. If you're not right up to the yarn marker then you may have skipped some stitches so you want to go back and count your stitches and make sure that you have the correct stitch count. You should have a total of 18 stitches after completing that round. And you'll be able to tell the stitch count 
easily because we started with a magic circle of six single crochet. So that means that after each increase round, just add six and you'll know your stitch count. So our last round that we made, we had 12 stitches. So we add six to that and we know that the stitch count for this round should be 18 if you did it correctly. So now we're ready to move the yarn marker up to where we left off and we're going to make our next increase round. So with this increase round you're going to be making one single crochet into two stitches and then two single crochet into the third stitch. And then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So one single crochet into two stitches and then two single crochet into the third stitch. And then you just keep repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Then after you finish that increase round you just move the yarn marker up and now you're going to make one single crochet into three stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch and then you repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker then, you guessed it, we're going in chronological order. So the next increase round is going to be one single crochet into four stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch. Then repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So this is how your work should look so far. And now you're on your last increase round which is one single crochet into five stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So after you finish your last increase round, go ahead and move your yarn marker up. And now you're just going to make one single crochet in every stitch around until you've completed a total of five rounds. So five rounds of only one single crochet into every stitch around. So after you make your five rounds, one, two, three, four, five, of one single crochet in every stitch around, you should have a little cup for the head. Go ahead and set this aside for now. We're going to make the spot for the eyes and then place the eyes. So now we're going to make the spot for the eye. So we're going to start with the magic circle again. And you're going to bring up a loop for your slip knot. And we did this before. Now you want six single crochet into the magic circle just like before. So you hold the base of the six single crochet and then you just pull on one of those loops on the opposite side. If it doesn't pull, let go and pull on the other one, but this one's pulling a lot easier than the first time. Then take your loose yarn in and pull on that. Then just turn your work and you're going to be making two single crochet into each stitch around until you have a total of 12 stitches in the round. So two single crochet in every stitch around for a total of 12. Then we're going to make one increase round. So you're going to make one single crochet into the first stitch and then two single crochet into the second stitch. And then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So one single crochet into the first stitch and then two single crochet into the second stitch. And remember you add six to the previous round. Previous round was 12 stitches so you should have 18 stitches when you finish this round. Then you can remove your yarn marker 
and then just make a slip stitch into the next stitch over. So go into the next stitch over, yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and then bring the yarn through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch. Then you can go ahead and finish off. Just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to sew the spot onto the dog's head. So I'm just going to wrap up the yarn. And then I'm just going to pull on where I finished off. And then don't close the center of the circle completely because we're going to be putting the safety doll eye through there. So now you can take and press the safety doll eye through the center. And then where you finished off is going to go towards the bottom. Then you can take and pull on that loose yarn end if you want to cinch the magic circle around your safety doll eye. Then take and place your safety latch onto the back. And you can hear that snap. It really secures it on there well. Then you're going to take and line up so the back of the loop where we left off on the head is going to go towards the back of the head. So in the front is where you're going to line up the spot. And you want to line up the spot so that it's just above the last round on the head where we left off. And then I usually take the loose yarn end, place it onto my tapestry needle, and then take that into the inside of the head first. Then you can take the long end that you left for sewing and I usually have it towards the bottom and then you're just going to go right into the bottom of the uh, spot and then into the head. You can see how I lined it up with the bottom right above the bottom stitch because remember we're going to crochet with that bottom stitch so you don't want to stitch over that. And then you just take and go all the way around the outer edge and then sew it in place with your tapestry needle. Then when you're finished sewing it all the way around you can take and tie a knot on the inside and then you can just leave the long loose yarn ends in there if you want to but I usually trim them down so they don't get in my way. So I tie it several times and then I just trim it. You can save this excess if you want to use that as part of your stuffing. Then you can go ahead and place your other eye. Make sure that the center of the eye that you have on your spot lines up with the center of your eye that you're placing the other eye. And I have about a couple stitches between the spot and the other eye. And then once you're happy with the placement, make sure it's not crooked, you don't want crooked eyes, then you can take and place your safety latch onto the back. And usually you'll hear a little pop when you know that it's secure. And then make sure you have it where you want because it's very difficult to get the safety latch off or to practically impossible. And it looks really good. So now we're ready to resume crocheting on the back of the head. To make the eyes, you want to start, we're going to start with the center of the eye. So you're going to need your dark colored yarn. I'm using my navy blue, but you could use a black colored yarn if you want to and you just take your yarn and you're going to drape it across your four fingers. We're going to make a magic circle so you just stabilize it with your thumb and then wrap the yarn around your two middle fingers and then hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. Then you're going to take your 3.75 millimeter crochet hook go under those two loops around the middle finger and then just bring up a loop 
then yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through the loop for a slip knot. Then you're going to place six single crochet into the magic circle. And then you're just going to hold the base of the six single crochet with your forefinger and thumb and then just take one of the loops on the opposite side and pull on it. If it doesn't close, let go and pull on the other one. But this one's closing. Don't worry if you don't get it closed all the way. Just close it as much as you can. Then take and pull on the loose yarn end. Then just take your crochet hook and you're going to go into a little fuzz there. Let me remove that. Then you just take your crochet hook, you go into the next, the first stitch in the round, and you're going to make a slip stitch. So you just yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and then bring the yarn through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch. Now you're ready to join your main color for the eye. So I used this really pretty turquoise or blue mint colored yarn. So now I'm going to bring in my blue mint colored yarn. So I have one loop on the crochet hook. I'm going to take my blue colored yarn and I'm going to bring up a loop. Then you can take and pull on the previous colored yarn to cinch down that little loop there from the previous colored yarn. And then take the loose yarn end and the previous colored yarn and just tie a knot. Then you can cut the previous colored yarn. So make sure you leave enough of a loose yarn end for burying into your work. Then you're going to take the loose yarn end, both of them, and lay them across the circle because you're going to crochet around them as you make this next increase round. So you're going to go into the first stitch in the round or the next stitch, go behind the loose yarn ends and bring up a loop with your new color. Then you're going to make a single crochet. So you just yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through both for a single crochet. And then you're going to make another single crochet into the same stitch. We're going to make two single crochet into every stitch around until you have a total of 12 stitches in the round. Go ahead and pull on those loose yarn ends. Then you're just going to go into the next stitch, go behind the loose yarn ends, bring up a loop, and make your single crochet. And then you're going to make another single crochet into the same stitch. So go ahead, finish making two single crochet into every stitch around and then come back. Now when you've buried your loose yarn ends enough, you can go ahead and just trim them, get them out of the way, and then you just resume making your single crochets. Now you should be back to where you started and you're going to make a slip stitch into that top stitch of that first single crochet that you made. So you just yarn over and pull the yarn through both loops on your hook for a slip stitch. And now you're going to join your white or beige colored yarn. So you just bring up a loop just like you did with the blue or the black yarn. Then you just pull on the previous colored yarn and then just take and tie a knot. And then you can take and cut the previous colored yarn. Then you're going to take your loose yarn ends and you're going to go into the next stitch over, go behind the loose yarn ends and for this increase round, you're going to make one single crochet into the first stitch. And then I like to pull on my loose yarn ends to 
to bring them underneath the stitch. Then in the next stitch you're going to make two single crochet into the same stitch. And then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to where you started. So you're going to make one single crochet into the first stitch and then two single crochet into the next stitch. And you just keep repeating that pattern all the way around back to where you started. And when you finish this increase round, you should have a total of 18 stitches in the round. Then when you reach the first single crochet that you made in the round, you're just going to make a slip stitch into that stitch. Then you can go ahead and finish off. Just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to sew the eye onto the dog. So now the eyes are almost ready. The last thing that I did with my eyes is I took and folded the top of the eye down and I folded the bottom of the eye down just so that the blue portion is showing with just a little bit of the white and then all of the white is showing on the left and right of the eye. And to help hold it I just took my tapestry needle and then I just sewed. Now when you sew the top portion of the white down, you have to be careful you don't go through the design on the front of the eye. So you just go to the side where there's the white portion on the right side and just sew this top portion down and then you can just go right under the blue at an angle towards the wrong side. And then you can take and go at an angle towards the right side. And then you just fold down the top portion of the white portion of the eye. And it makes more of an oval shape for the eye. And then you do the same thing for the bottom portion. And then I just go right through the back of the eye, the wrong side, because nobody's going to see this back portion. And you can even tuck the dark yarn into the eye. And be careful that you don't make the eye bulge too much. So if you want, you can trim down the, the darker portion of yarn but mine didn't bulge too much when I did that. And then you just take and sew the white portion down on the bottom. And this just helps to hold it in place before you sew it onto the dog. And then I just go across on the back to the opposite side and it kind of pulls it together. And then you have more of an oval shape to the eye and now it's ready to sew on to the dog. Now you want to make your other eye the exact same way and then you're going to make the spot. So you're going to make the spot that goes behind the eye the exact same way that you did with when you used the safety doll eye. So instead of the safety doll eye, now you have your own handmade yarn eye and you just sew, make your spot and then you sew your eye onto the spot and then you put the spot onto the dog. Once you make the eye with the spot, then you can place the other eye on the dog. So you want to make the eye and sew it on the spot and then sew that onto the dog the same way that you did with the safety doll eye. Then once that's sewn in place, you want to, I skipped a couple of stitches and then I made sure that my eyes lined up. 
You don't want one higher or one lower because then you're, it's going to look funny. So you want to make sure that it's straight. And that's how you make your own eyes. So now I'm going to show you how to make your own nose. So for the nose, you're going to use your dark colored yarn. And we're going to start with a chain. So you're going to take your yarn. You're going to fold it over on itself to form a loop. Take your crochet hook, and I'm using my 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. Go right through the loop. Hold the base of the loop with your middle finger and your thumb. Then just yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through the loop for a slip knot. Go ahead and cinch that knot down. Cinch the loop around your crochet hook. Then you're going to make a chain of five. So you just yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through the loop for one, two, three, four, five. Then you're going to make a single crochet into the second chain from the hook. So here's your first chain, here's your second chain. So you take your crochet hook, go into the second chain from the hook, bring up a loop, make a single crochet, and then you're going to make a single crochet in every stitch back across, except for the last stitch. So when you reach that last stitch, you're going to make three single crochet into the same stitch. And then you're going to be turning your work so that you can work on the opposite side. We're going to be working in rounds. I'm going behind my loose yarn end. So now you're on the opposite side. So here are the single crochets that we just finished and we're on the opposite side now, working in rounds. So now you're going to go into the next stitch over, go behind the loose yarn end, bring up a loop, make a single crochet, go into the next stitch, go behind the loose yarn end, make your single crochet. Then in the last stitch you're going to make three single crochet into the same stitch. So after my second in the same stitch, I'm going to go ahead and trim this loose yarn end. Make sure you don't cut your yarn attached to the skein. Then I'm going to make my last single crochet into the same stitch. Then you can make a slip stitch into the first stitch that you made in the round. So go ahead and yarn over and pull the yarn through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch. Then you're going to get a yarn marker. Just place it right where you left off. I'm just using one of my scraps of yarn. And then you're just going to make one single crochet, sorry, one single crochet in every stitch around for two rounds. So two rounds of only one single crochet in every stitch. And as you work, kind of push the nose so that you're working along the outside. And this will be your right side of the nose. The inside will be the wrong side of the nose. So then when you finish your two rounds of one single crochet in every stitch, you can make a slip stitch into the next stitch over, and then you just finish off. You just pull enough yarn through to sew the nose onto the dog. So then, now with this nose, I'm going to remove the yarn marker. Now with this nose, I don't use craft stuffing because sometimes when you use the craft stuffing you can see it through the end of the nose. So what you want to do is just cut a little amount of your dark yarn, kind of bunch it up into a ball, and then stuff that into the inside of the nose. And then your nose is ready to sew in place, and you're going to position it the same in the same position 
that you would your safety nose. So now you have a cute little nose to sew in place if you don't want to use your safety doll nose. And this is what the nose looks like on mine. So here you can see the difference between the safety doll eye and the nose, safety nose and versus the yarn. So they're both cute. So if you want, are worried about choking hazards, which you should be concerned with choking hazards, and then you have an alternate. You can make yours with yarn if you want to instead. So now you can go ahead and move your yarn marker up to where you left off. And this time you're going to make one single crochet in every stitch for five rounds again. So five more rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. So now you should have an additional five rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. And this is what mine looks like so far. So now we're going to take and sew the snout on. So I'm going to show you how to make this snout. Go ahead and set the head aside for now. And then you're going to need your beige colored yarn. So with your beige colored yarn, you're going to start with the magic circle again. So you just drape the yarn across your two fingers and hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. Then take your crochet hook, go under those two loops, bring up a loop, yarn over, go through the loop for your slip knot. Then you're going to make six single crochet into the magic circle. So six single crochet into the magic circle again. And then we close it the same way. Hold it at the base and then you just pull on the opposite loop and then take and close the loose yarn end. Then you just turn your work and then you're going to make two single crochet into every stitch around until you have a total of 12 stitches in the round. Then just take a yarn marker, place it right where you left off, and we're going to be making three increase rounds for this one. So the first increase round is going to be one single crochet into the first stitch, and then two single crochet into the second stitch. And then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around, back to the yarn marker. So one single crochet into the first stitch and then two single crochet into the second stitch. And repeat that pattern all the way around, back to the yarn marker. Then just take and move your yarn marker up. And this time you're going to make one single crochet into two stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch. And then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. And then the last increase round is one single crochet into three stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch. And repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So that is the last increase round. Now you're going to make, you're going to move the yarn marker up and you're only going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for the next three rounds. So you're going to maintain your stitch count for the next three rounds by making one single crochet in every stitch around for three rounds. Now after you finish your three rounds of one single crochet in every stitch, go ahead and make a slip stitch into the next stitch over. Just go into the next stitch over, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and bring the yarn through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch. Then you can go ahead and finish off, just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to sew the snout in place. So before we sew the snout in place, we're going to be putting, placing the safety doll nose onto the snout, and I usually have where I finished off towards the bottom of the snout. 
So now you're going to get your safety doll nose. So then you just take your safety doll nose and then you're going to place it onto the snout. And I usually use my the magic circle as a guide. And so I placed my nose one round up. So I just count one round up. And then I place my nose onto the dog. And of course the yarn that I'm using to sewing is towards the bottom. And then once you're happy, make sure the nose is centered. And then once you're happy, you can take and place the safety latch on the back. So again, it usually will snap in place there. Then you can take your tapestry needle and your dark colored yarn to make the mouth, to embroider the mouth. So you just come up from the wrong side with your tapestry needle and make sure that you leave enough of a loose yarn end on the inside for tying a knot. And you can go ahead and tie a knot with the loose yarn end that's already in there from the magic circle. Then you're going to go straight down to the opposite side of the magic circle. Then you're just going to go to the side. So I went a couple of stitches over and then a couple rounds down to make the one side of the little frown, the cute little frown. And then I'm going back in to the center where I went down with the initial. And then for the other side of the frown, you go the exact, you want it to be equal on both sides, so a couple stitches over and then two rounds down and then back into where you went to the bottom of the mouth. And then you have your cute little frown. Then on the inside, just finish tying a knot and then trimming the loose yarn ends. So now you're going to get your craft stuffing, but you're going to set the craft stuffing aside for now. And we're going to sew the bottom portion of the snout first. So go ahead and grab the head. And you want to take and position the snout. Make sure that the nose is centered. And you can line up the top too. The top part is going to go right over the spot of the eye. And you want to make sure that the nose is straight and then line up the bottom of the snout. So before you start sewing, make sure that everything is straight with the nose, lined up with the eyes. Sometimes it can be helpful to take a safety pin and just pin the top of the snout so that you know that the nose is straight and that the top of the snout will line up because the last thing that you want is a crooked snout. The face is one of the most important things when it comes to amigurumi. You want to make sure that your face is cute. So then you know that the top part and the nose are straight. Then you can take and sew the bottom. So you're going to sew the bottom first and you want to line it up so that it's just above that row, that bottom row on the head. Because remember, we're going to finish crocheting on the head, so you don't want to stitch over the last round on the head. So just line up the snout along the bottom, and then you're just going to take your tapestry needle and go through and sew the bottom. So you're only going to sew the bottom. You're not going to sew the sides yet. So you just go in and out just sewing the bottom of the snout to the bottom of the head. And then once you've sewn the bottom, you can take and sew the top of the snout. So I'm going to place one more stitch. Then I'm going to remove the safety pin. And then I'm going to line up 
the top again and I want the top of the snout to be just under the eyes. So I'm slightly curving it and I'm putting it on top of the, the spot and then I'm going to come up and then stitch across the top of the snout. So make sure you don't pull it too tight on the inside. You don't want it pulling on the head or the snout. And then you just take and sew the, the top portion only. I'm going to go back across to sew the opposite side. And the whole time I'm double checking the nose and making sure that that doesn't move. And then after you finish sewing the top of the snout, you can take and place the craft stuffing into the snout. So I'm going to come back up, so I'm going to get ready to sew down the side. And then you can take and place your craft stuffing. I just use an inexpensive pillow. I actually get mine from Walmart. They have the jumbo sized pillows for around three dollars. And I just use the stuffing inside of there. So make sure you have enough stuffing in the snout. I think I'm going to add a little bit more. Then after you place the craft stuffing you can take and finish sewing the sides of the snout. Then you should have your adorable snout in place looks good. Now we're ready to return to the head to finish the bottom portion of the head. So now go ahead and move the yarn marker up to where you left off on the head and you're going to make one round of only one single crochet in every stitch around. So only one round of one single crochet in every stitch. So now we're going to start the decrease rounds. So go ahead and move the yarn marker up and for the first decrease round and what I mean by decrease round is that we're decreasing the number of stitches in the round until we close the head of the dog. So for the first decrease round we're going to start with one single crochet into five stitches. So one single crochet into five stitches. Then you're going to make your decrease stitch. It's also called single crochet two stitches together. So you're going to go into the next stitch over. You're going to bring up a loop. You have two loops on the hook. Go into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Now you have three loops on the hook. Go ahead and yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through all three for a decreased stitch or single crochet two stitches together. And you're going to repeat this pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So one single crochet into five stitches. and then you're going to single crochet two stitches together. So go ahead repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Then you can see that it's gotten a little bit smaller so we decreased that round by six stitches. Now you're going to move your yarn marker up and for this next decrease round, you're going to go into one single crochet into four stitches. And then you're going to single crochet two stitches together. And then you're going to repeat this pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. 
So now you want to place craft stuffing into the head and you want to kind of shape it the way that you want it. And you can stuff more craft stuffing as you close. And you see that the opening is getting smaller and smaller. So now you're going to take and move the yarn marker up. And for this decrease round, it's one single crochet into three stitches. And then you're going to make your single crochet two stitches together. And then you're going to repeat this pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. This is what it looks like so far. You see that we're almost closed. So now for the next decrease round it's going to be one single crochet into two stitches and then single crochet two stitches together and repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Then I added a little bit more craft stuffing. Then you just move the yarn marker up and this time you're going to make one single crochet into two stitches and then single crochet two stitches together. And then just repeat that pattern all the way around. So now I'm almost closed. So you could make one single crochet and then single crochet two stitches together. But I'm going to go ahead and just make single crochet two stitches together all the way around until it's almost closed and then I'm going to slip stitch it closed. So you just make as many single crochet two stitches together as you can until it's almost closed. Then I'm just going to slip stitch it closed. So I'm going to skip a stitch, go into the next stitch, then I'm going to yarn over, turn the hook upside down and bring the yarn through both loops for a slip stitch. You can see that I'm almost closed. I'm going to make one more slip stitch and then I'm finished. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off. Just yarn over and pull enough yarn through just to bury into your work. You can give that a gentle tug. And then you've closed the head. Now I'm going to show you how to bury the loose yarn in. So you just get your tapestry needle and then you just put your tapestry needle onto the loose yarn end. And then you just go right where you finished off and come out anywhere on the head. And then just give a gentle tug and then cut the loose yarn end. And then the head is all finished. So you can set the head aside for now while we make the ears.